Hey guys, it's Jen, and I'm <laughs> a little bit embarrassed to be bringing you this haul video, but I wanted to show you these new things that I got. Um, I don't do haul vi videos very often. I do sometimes do share videos of things that I get for the design teams that I'm on, like Ellie Studio and Felicity Jane. Um, but I don't usually buy products in a, a large quantity. I spend 10 or $20 here or there, but um, I went a little bit crazy on the new lines. My local scrapbook store had them when I went in today, and so I bought a whole bunch of stuff, and I wanted to show them to you. So I have some new uh, Dear Lizzie Saturday. I have some new um, Crate Paper Cute Girl and um, what is it called? Cool Kid. I have some Paige Evans new line. I have some of Amy Tan's new line, and I have some of, um, oh, I mentioned Dear Lizzie, and I have a, a little bit of Chamel, Chamel's new stuff as well, so I went a little bit crazy. I wanted to show you, in case these are products that you're interested in, I know a lot of the online scrapbooking shops are starting to get these things in. Um, Scrapbook.com, as far as I had seen, did not have them last time I checked, but I know that um, some other places do, so I'll be sure to try to link to any place that might have them below. Um, but these are things that you can look forward to, maybe get a closer look at some of the products that you might want to uh, purchase that are that are new and coming out and these were some of the things my my scrapbooks my local scrapbook store didn't have all of every collection um, they had the most of the crate paper collections which made me the most excited because I love those ones so much um, but I just got a few bits and pieces of the other ones so I will go ahead and show you those I'm going to start with the papers so I'm going to set this aside here and I got a lot of paper I'm not going to lie um, I don't usually buy this much paper. There is a big stack, so I'm going to go through it fairly quickly. Uh, I got this from The Great Outdoors from Cartabella because I am going camping and we are canoeing. Um, I'm doing that in the next couple weeks here, and so I just thought it would be a fun paper to have. The back says Camp Runamook. Love how cute this is. Um, just really super cute. Uh, this paper is from Jen Hadfield Warm and Cozy. This is a new Pebbles line. Um, I just love the woods. Again, I'm thinking about the camping trip that we have coming up, but I also liked this side. Very simple and easy to use. And it's got some little deer heads on the bottom uh, branding strip. This is from that same line. So this is a leaf paper, and it's got... I'm going to put this on autofocus for a second so I can show you a little bit closer. It's got like a wood grain pattern behind each leaf. So there's a different wood grain texture behind each leaf, which is kind of cool. And then the back, this is why I really bought it, um, is for this, uh, like kind of the side shot of some logs that have been cut. So love that. Okay, and then we're going to move into Crate Paper Cool Kid. So this is their um, boy collection they released, but my daughter is a tomboy and loves all sorts of um, like outdoorsy kinds of things and a lot of the things in this collection really spoke to me. Plus I love scrapbooking about the people that I love including my nephews and stuff like that. So I got a bunch. Um, this one is called Adventure. It's got this really cool map print. There's a bunch of different kinds of maps on this side. And then we've got some yellow kind of mustardy colored arrows on the back. Then we have this one which is called Superhero. I love this. Wham, boom, pow, crash, bang, zing. Just super cute. Loved, loved that. And then on the back is this nice blue, but I really bought it for this side. I didn't get every paper in the collection because I just got the ones I, I knew I would, that I was drawn to and that I would use. This one is called Champ, and we've got just a yellow with a triangle on this side. And then we've got this cool kind of herringbone with a wood grain texture. I'll show you that a little bit more up close. So you can see the wood grain there. Love, love this one. Okay, this one is called Hooray. This side is great, very colorful and bright. Um, I would use this in small doses, but the back side has uh, this pattern that is just, it's a notebook paper, but I love this at the top. It almost looks like staples or like those file folders where you would run the, um, there's like a little tabby paper like thing that you can fold through that anyway I liked that one this one I've got them all turned around let's see I'm gonna flip them over sorry 
Okay, this one is called Boys Club. We've got a bunch of white pluses on a black background. And I got it for this side because my daughter loves dinosaurs. And so, and we also, um, I have some pictures by trains. And she likes insects. Anyway, this was great for my daughter. So love that. This paper is called Wild One. Again, my daughter loves dinosaurs, so I thought that would be a fun one. And then the back is this awesome herringbone. It's it's like a really tight herringbone pattern. Um, it's like an orangey red with a darker red line. If you can see that. Then we have Brothers. Love this with the kind of turquoise blue and then the navy lines. And then the other side we have some bright triangles. Love, love that paper. And this is good for, I think it kind of... Uh, resembles mountains and so I thought this would be good for camping as well okay then we have some crepe paper cute girl couldn't resist lots of these I love a good floral this one's called fancy the other side I absolutely love now these could be little arrows or little hearts let me show you up close super cute they're more hearts to me but um, I love the turquoise on turquoise with the darker in the background that's super cute Love this paper so much. Okay, sorry, my focus is not wanting to focus. This is called Make Believe, and we've got these super cute, whimsical little houses. So cute, right? And then the background is that same tight herringbone pattern that we saw in the boys' uh, line, and it's got like a, a light coral with a darker coral line. This one is called Cheery. This kind of looks like a gingerbread house um, roof. And then the background, the back of it is, I like this kind of cool gray color um, with some triangles on it. Had to get this one. This one's called Rainbows. And then the back is just a nice wood grain, so both sides very, very fun. Love those. This one is called Sisters. Um, my daughter doesn't have a sister, but I have a sister, so that works for that. Also, I think text can be used for more than just actually what it says. And then the back is this really cute um, triangle pattern. It's dark pink with a light pink line. This one is called Storybook, and it's got these gorgeous florals. I could see myself cutting these out or cutting a strip of this pattern to use, um, or even using this as a border, like for a whole background. I think that would be really cute. And then the back has black with white triangles. This one is called Magical. We've got kind of like this really geometric um, pink uh, square, kind of. I don't know if you can tell that it has, there we go. Um, it has those kind of zigzaggy edges. And then the other side is this tone on tone polka dot. Love that. This is like my favorite color. That's why I got the paper. Um, this is another polka dot paper. This one's from Chamel's new collection, Go Now Go. And this one is called Artemis. Is this from her new one? Nope, this is from Starshine. <laughs> this is an older one. I just saw this and liked it. I really like this pink polka dot, so that's why I got this paper. But I do have some from her new line called Go Now Go. So this one is called Fly, and we've got some clouds with some um, airplanes. And this is super cute. You can kind of tell... Let's see if it will focus. There are little lines where the, the plane is flying. So there's like these really light blue uh, lines that are the paths of the airplanes. And then on the back side, this was my favorite. Um, it has just this kind of um, passenger list. So it says date, passenger, departure city, arrival city, mode of transport, and notes. Um, I'm going on a cruise soon. And you guys are all welcome to join me. <laughs> you can find out more about it at cruiseandcrop.com. Um, I'm teaching on a scrapbooking cruise in October. There's still room available if you're interested in joining us. We're, we're cruising to um, the Caribbean, and so you should definitely check that out. But I thought this would be fun for documenting some of that trip. This one is also from Go Now Go. This one's called Botanical. I just thought this was an interesting uh, floral pattern, and I like the darkness of it. It I don't know, I just really like that. But this side was calling my name also. So this is kind of like a chevron, but it has a stripe in it. So it has a bit of a different look to it. Really like that. Okay, so this is from Paige Evans' new line with Pink Paisley. And this is so pretty. This is number two. So their, their patterns are numbered. 
and it's got this gorgeous floral pattern. It looks like wallpaper, which is a plus in my book. Um, the other side has this really pretty, it's a grid, but it's like this washed out, it's got a watercolory background. Um, it's modeled, it's not exactly clear, and then um, it's this light green mint color. Very pretty. This one's number seven. So Paige in her last collection did a paper like this that had all the different squares and it was really fun to kind of punch from these and get a bunch of different patterns on one paper. So that's number seven. And the back is this gorgeous, it's got this little tiny polka dot on it in white. I love this paper. And it's you can see it's a little bit distressed. Love that. This one's number 17. Love this paper with the floral. Super cute. Very pretty colors. I like this kind of really light mauve color. It's very, it's like a, a purpley grayish pink almost. Love it. And then the back side is this wash of color. Love that. This one is also from Paige Evans' new line. And I thought this was so interesting. It's got like this wood grain texture on some of these triangles. Um, and then the, it's mixed in with some greens and blues. This is really pretty and very kind of outdoorsy. I thought this would be good for some camping trips that I got coming up, um, but also just for general documentation. And then the back is this really pretty paper. You can see it's got this pattern on it uh, when I bring it close, but when you put it far away, it's got this like kind of gradient of color. There's a, a, a light spot of yellow up here in the corner and a little bit down here, and then it goes darker as you get down. Love that paper. This one is number four, and it's got this kind of painted stripes of color, really pretty. And then the back side has all of these little triangles in the same colors. And the, the branding strip has those colors as well, so super cute. Um, this one is from We Are Memory Keepers Flower Girl. I don't think this is brand new, but I just thought this was really fun and whimsical, and I could see myself using this bird pattern for maybe some of the tropical photos that we have coming up for our, our cruise, but also I just love this kind of triangle pattern. It's lines on the triangles. It plays with your eyes a little bit, but I really love it. Um, this is from Dear Lizzie Saturday, and there were some really sweet prints in this line. I wasn't sure about the entire collection, but when you see it in person, it's just really gorgeous. So there are, this one is called Central Park, and it's got this gorgeous floral. I love the leaves. They're kind of like this grayish color, um, watercolored. They're not completely filled in. They're a little bit of a you know, a watercolory look. Very pretty. Love those colors. That's not a color combo that you see super often. And then the back has this great grid or table or chart or whatever you want to call it. Super cute. Um, this one, it reminds me of a paper she had in another line where it had these kind of split hearts that I loved. And this one is called The City. Love, love that paper. And then the back, it's kind of like a diamond pattern with there, but these, all of these little dots, they're actually little squares, and then the centers of each one of them are pink. You can kind of see that there. So this is a navy paper. And then the branding strip has these cute little arrows on it. Okay, and then we have this really sweet little bird uh, paper. This one's called Stoop. Really, really cute. Let me show you those up close, actually. Really sweet little birds. Love the colors there. And then the back, I really love this. They, so this looks kind of like a baseball diamond or something. I don't know, but this is a pattern I hadn't seen before, and I really like it. So that was fun. This is really, really pretty. Um, this is called Uptown. This is, again, from the Saturday collection from Dear Lizzie. Love these colors. And then the back is really usable, too. So it's got this kind of, like... Um, watercolor texture in the background, and then these hand-drawn little stripey things on top. Really cute. And then we come to Amy Tan's Oh Happy Life, Amy Tangerine. And I got the cut apart sheet because there's lots of really cute things on here. Uh, I love Amy's hand lettering um, and just really some really cute quotes on here. But the back is actually why I love it even more. So it's stripes that are kind of painted with some imperfect little open circles on it. And I love this pattern. It's super cute. This one is also from Oh Happy Life. And we've got some clouds with patterns in them. And the, the, um, the 
Raindrops also have patterns in them. They're kind of hard to see. If I hold still, maybe. There we go. And this is kind of like, it's not quite navy and not quite black. I think it's supposed to be navy. But I love this side. Um, we've been seeing a lot of these kind of divided patterned papers, and I love that this one's in neutral. So we've got stripes here and dots here. This was just a really fun floral. I could definitely see cutting these out and using them on a layout. Um, oh, this one's called Good Morning. I haven't been saying the names. That was 11 a.m., and this one was Everyday Happy. Sorry. So this one's Good Morning, and the back is a really bold yellow stripe, which I always love a bold stripe like this. Um, oh, Looks like I mixed up some of the pink paisley. So this is Paige Evans' new collection. This is number one. And I thought that these little cut aparts were super sweet, very cute, but I really love this kind of purple color. I uh, I don't know, purple is hard to use in scrapbooking, but this color of purple I really can do. So I really love that pattern. And that's why I got this one as well. So this one's a little bit of a tricky one to see. I'm gonna show it to you up close, but you can see it's darker here and it gets lighter at the bottom. It's got this kind of really cool triangle pattern on it in white. So that's really cool. The other side is a map of Europe, so that's super cool. I've never been to Europe, but I would like to go. But this one I'm planning to probably use this side. This one though, this is another map. This one's number five. Did I say what number this one was? This was number 15. This one's number five, and this has a map of the United States, which I am definitely familiar with. And it also has, down here in the bottom, it has Jamaica, Haiti, um, which I'm going to uh, on the cruise that I mentioned earlier, and also um, part of Mexico, which we'll be going to. So just, that'll be fun. Um, so I could use this little corner, and also I live in this little corner of the world. So that was fun. And the back is super cool too, love this. So it starts with this triangle pattern with these dots on it, and then it fades, and then you just have the dots. So I think that's cool. Pretty. And that one is number five. This one is number six. I loved these words. I think they're really cool. And they kind of like, they're lighter in some areas, like it's paint, like chalk or something, or like watercolored but chalk. I don't know. Hard to explain, but I love that paper. And the back is a, just a really funky, that kind of same wood grain that we were looking at before, but with that mauve color. I really like that. But this side I like more. And then this one's number 10, and I love this floral. This is one that if you um, haven't hand cut paper before, if you don't fussy cutting paper, this one's an easy one because the flowers are clearly defined, so you could just um, cut this really loosely around the outside edges. Love that, that's number 10. But the back is so sweet, it's got these little hearts and they're kind of sketchy in the middle, like they're colored in a little imperfectly, love that. And I got one sheet of vellum. This is from Cute Girl, and it is um, like a confetti print, and there's a little bit of gold foiling on it. I love that. I think it's super sweet. Okay, so like that's the most paper I bought in a really long time. Look at that stack of paper. I think it was like close to 40 sheets of paper. I do not usually do that, so I'm a little bit embarrassed, but, you know, it happened. I... I am making a whole bunch of layouts right now for a class, and um, I'm going to be mixing a couple of these elements that I got from my haul today in with my new series, which is going to be a stash kit. So I'm going to mix old and new stuff together. So I'll mix a few of these new things in with some of my older products and show you how to do that. Um, so you can look forward to that. But let's go ahead and look at the embellishments that I got. So I got one 12 by 12 chipboard sheet. This is the cute girl from... Um, from Crate Paper, and just so you can see what's hiding underneath here, but we've got we've got um, all sorts of really adorable little icons. You can kind of see there's a mermaid, and there's this little doll, and um, all of these cute little things, some frames. Underneath this sticker, if you want to see that, it says love, and when you wish upon a star, how sweet is that? Love that. And we've got some more of those little, um, houses. I maybe should have showed you this by collection, but I didn't, so I'm very sorry if that you would have preferred it that way. Okay, so next we have uh, sticker sheets and thicker sheets. Um, I'm going to put this on 
manual focus. Okay, so these are the Dear Lizzie Saturday um, accent and phrase stickers. These are quite large. Um, these are all little arrows though, so those are small, but we've got the dream is real, some fun little icons, the taxi, which is super cute. Just love this way, Sunday fun day. Um, all of these cute little circles that you could sprinkle around on a layout. Yes, no, maybe so. Um, there's a few like little cheeseburger and and uh, pretzel and some cute little hearts matchsticks, <laughs> just fun little icons. I thought these were super cute. I love the colors in this. I think that color is something that Lizzie does well. So there's that one. Um, let's look at the cool kid stickers. So these, like I mentioned before, I don't have a son, but I have a couple of nephews and a lot of these apply to my daughter as well. So awesome. There's some animals, best kid ever. Hey buddy, my boy. Hey cool kid. Hooray. Some little um, doll thingies here, little brother, special event, these little tickets in the airplane, super cute. They're, I love these crepe paper sticker sheets because they always have a lot of little things that are easy to scatter around. So if that's something that you like to do in your clustering or whatever, crepe paper sticker sheets are really great for that. Um, there's also some really cool word stickers at the bottom. This one has silver foiling with it, so that's pretty cool. So we've got black and silver. And then um, a bunch of plus signs, a dinosaur, the United States, cool kid, eat, play, sleep, boy and noise with dirt on it. So those are super cute. Next sticker sheet, I got the cute girl sticker sheet. So we have these really super cute words. I love these for titling. Um, more of those cute little uh, houses. These little dolls, which are just adorable adorable. <laughs> There's some cute little kitty icons and some florals and butterflies and these little hearts. Love those again to scatter around. Uh, there's a bunch of words at the bottom. Hey girl, I believe in you. My girl, wish upon a star. Hello my love. Love you so. Never grow up. Believe in magic. That kind of thing. And then on the back, there's this little cute uh, unicorn that goes throughout the collection that I super love. Um, but we've got lots of other words, some more of the little kitties, sweet as can be. There's a few numbers, one to five it looks like. Or is there one? I just see two, three, four, five, but whatever. Um, the cute little florals and then a few other little words and, and labels here, so love that. Um, okay, thickers. <laughs> Let's look at the little the boy one. So this is the one that goes with the, the cool kid collection. I absolutely love these, not just for boys. I know that there's stuff that says boys on it, but it doesn't matter. Um, boys rule, little man, hey buddy, love all the little stars. So these are kind of like an epoxy. They're puffy. They're puffy stickers, actually. Um, rad, ready, set, go, time, be brave. I love, love the be brave. Make believe, there's some little crowns, awesome, let's play, cool kid, and it's kind of, the O's are kind of like wonky, if you can tell they're not like perfectly circular, I like that. Don't grow up, eat, sleep, rawr, young and brave, this is totally my daughter, I love that. And four is our family's lucky number, so I love that too, super cute. The girl ones, this is from Cute Girl, love these as well. I'm loving this font they're using for the script. Adorable, cute, love, friends, sweet, sisters, the houses again, some more of these little butterflies, um, some of the little hearts that are adorable. We've got some little hexagons that you could sprinkle around almost like sequins, some more stars. The back has some cute little border uh, strips, XOXO. I'm liking these little banners. They're really nice to add to the top of a page or even to the top of a photo if it has some empty space. Dream, hello, the little clouds which would go perfect with dream. Uh, ice cream cone, a little kitty cat, best, love you. These words are really conducive to adding another word to them so you could use some of your other smaller word stickers like hello you or best friends underneath or something like that and um, they're really great for adding other words too. Okay, this is from Paige Evans' uh, collection with Pink Paisley, and these are called Wild Heart Thickers. These are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I love these colors. So I've got some really sophisticated florals. I was kind of, as I was thinking about the things that I got today, I got the crepe paper collections, and those are more um, 
kiddo friendly and I feel like this one is definitely more adult. I mean, I could use it for my daughter, of course, but these ones are more, I can use for more adults, um, like for my pages about myself or things like that. I think they're a little bit more sophisticated and I love, love that, but I definitely could use them for my daughter as well. Um, there's this really sweet little, uh, carousel horse here, colors, a wreath, courage, dear heart, one of my favorite phrases, with brave wings she flies, stay weird, which is definitely on my radar. <laughs> um, we've got a pin cushion and some scissors, so just gorgeous florals and leaves. And then there's like this kind of, um, it's a, a brassy gold almost. I don't know if you can tell, but it's, um, it's more of a brassy gold. We've got um, just this, these really cute houses, some needle and thread, fantastic, awesome. Like, these are a great size and and thin, and I don't know, I just really like these ones. Heck yes, live brave, fearless, note to self, okay, perfect, carpe diem, keeping it real, weekend vibes, love that, today is awesome. These are super cute. Um, I believe these also go with Paige Evans' new line with Pink Paisley. These are called Dream, and these are the kind of the phrase, foam phrase stickers. So they are foam. Um, they've got a white core to them, and they're that same kind of brassy gold color. So we have Take Me Away, Fun, Wild, Heart, Fabulous, Weekends, and then a bunch of hearts, and I love the, the leaves. Those are super cute. And then the back is super cool. It's got this kind of pearlized white um, color, and it says Keeping It Real, You and Me, Lovely, Sunshine, and Smile, and then more hearts and more of the leaves. So I love the white. I think that was a really cool idea. I haven't seen um, a pearly white like that before, so super cute. Um, and then these are from Chamel's Go Now Go collection. And these are a copper glitter foam thicker. Um, and these are mostly phrases, but there's a few icons as well. So we have today, which looks like a ticket, travel, let's go, yay, um, journey, around the world. I like how this the is cut out. There's a word love up here cut out as well. That's super cool. On the back we have good day, smile, wander, take it in, yes, happy, go now go, fun and adventure. So, and then we've got obviously a few little icons mixed in here and there. So, that is super cute. And now we have these Dear Lizzie puffy stickers. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. I thought these were the sweetest thing. So we've got a few of these little birds. Again, I'm anticipating using some of those birds for my upcoming trip to um, the Caribbean, so that will be fun. Um, camera, taxi, just some random various cute little puffy stickers. I really like those. And I like the little tags that say one, two, three, and then there's an arrow and a heart and a plus sign. Super, super cute. Love those. Okay, last but not least, I have two packages of ephemera. I'm not going to, well, I am going to open these, but I'm going to show them to you, and then if you're done watching this video, you can quit. And if you're not done watching this video, because it's getting sort of long, uh, then you can keep watching. But if you don't want to, I won't feel bad. So, first of all, we have the cool kid, and I'm just going to go like this and show you here what comes in this package. So lots of fun little things. I love this dinosaur again. My daughter loves dinosaurs. Play all day, never stop exploring. Ready, set, go time, be brave. I love this one with the alphabet. So that's what's in this one. Then we have cute girl. And these ones are super cute too. Let me show you what those ones contain. We've got some books, um, that rainbow card color again, unicorns, little doll. Um, all sorts of stuff. And these are a mixture, I believe, of vellum, or not vellum, acetate and cardstock in both of these. So I'm going to go ahead and open them up. Um, if you want to see those, stick around. And if you don't, thanks so much for watching. Um, and I don't blame you if you don't stick around. So I'm put this back on manual focus. Let me show you the bits and pieces we have here. I love these ephemera packs. They last forever. <laughs> okay, so, oh, that's so cute. 
this little kind of, remember these little carpet um, car things? Those are so cute. A little dinosaur that says roar. And number eight, a plane. Okay, we got the plane, be brave. Little Explorer. These do have a, a like a backings that you'll need to peel off. I love this one with the alphabet on it. I think that's so cute. This one says play all day. Okay, those are all the acetate pieces, so I'm going to move those out of the way. And we'll do the others. So we have a number three. Roar. Hashtag roar. Explore. Another little arrow. Little... Okay, we've got Cool Kid, yeah, Ace Flight School, oh, I'm going to use that for Harry Potter. <laughs> I love Harry Potter. Awesome, Hey Buddy, which I, I say that to my nephew all the time, Hey Buddy, when he FaceTimes me, which is all the time. And I have screenshots of that, so I need to document that. This is a cute little globe, a rocket, Wild Child. Eat, play, sleep, best kid ever, rough, I almost said fluff, that says rough, boy stuff, a fox, sneaky little scoundrel, that's cute, superhero, love this kid, truck, this one's got an airplane on it, this one says boy, we've got a frame, Stick that off to the side. Never stop exploring this way. I'm going to move these a little bit. There's a brontosaurus, which is the one I, I love so much. This ampersand, which is cut off, which I think is cool. Wild thing. Boys will be boys and ready, set, go time. Super, super cute. So that is... The Cool Kid Ephemera Pack. Now, let's look at the Cute Girl Ephemera Pack and then we'll be all done. Sorry, this video is five hours long. It's not five hours long, but almost. It seems like it. Okay, so we're going to do the acetate pieces first again. So we have Sweet Girl. Ooh, look, I, I like how this is two different colors. That's cute. This little kind of bookshelf or dollhouse looking thing. A cute little unicorn, a crown, some hearts, a floral piece, another big heart. I like how it's imperfectly filled in. Hey girl, uh, this little house or it could be a, a banner like this. Uh, this unicorn card. Okay, and that's all the acetate pieces. So let's look at the other pieces. We have this little uh, winged roller skate, a little doll, the word love, which is two-toned again, love that, stay wild, little, this looks like a bearded cat to me, I don't know, um, an ice cream cone with a smile, a cute little flower, number five, a kitty cat, a frame, the number six or the number nine, some houses on a card, a cute little camera. This looks like those toy cameras, the wooden ones that kids have. Totes, adorbs, love you. These cute books, love that. We've been doing some summer reading. Lemon, number three, unicorn. Ice cream, move those out of the way. Bucket list, swim with mermaids, dance with fairies, play in the stars, ride a unicorn, of course. Some bunny loves you, that'd be cute for a card. Roller rink, this one says meow. These cute little teepees, all my love. XOXO, I believe in magic. So these are like legitimate cards. Are these three by four? They look a little bit bigger. It's a little bigger than three by four. It's like three and a quarter by four and a quarter, but you could cut it down to three by four. And this one says girl. Those are really cute. Love, love, love those. 
Okay, well, if you made it to the end, congratulations, you win. <laughs> um, but that is my haul. It's kind of a big one. Thanks so much for watching. You'll see some of these pieces in upcoming videos or classes that I'm creating, so um, you can look forward to that. And I will link below to some online shops where you can check to see if they have these available. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.